I think it's pretty scary. I mean, I, but, you know, it's, a, it, I don't have a lot, you know, it, it's all, it all sounds pretty political at the end of the day. Um, and without getting political and all that kind of stuff, it's it just, I think the big unfortunate thing is, is that as soon as it starts to hit home and it starts to affect us, then there seems to be uh, an effect. You know, then there seems to be a reaction. There's outrage. But if, if you look around the world, this is, this is normal for a lot of people. This is actually, it's surprising that it's even a surprise to people. It's shocking that it's a shock. It's shocking to me that nobody um, takes responsibility for, for uh, a, you know, a world that's somewhat in chaos right now and has been for a number of years. This is, no, none of this is new. Um, so that being said, and without getting all you know, dreary and stuff, uh, it's been around for a long time and uh, I think we all have a responsibility. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it's a matter of time that it will. Um, you know, I think like everything else, hopefully we'll get through it, uh, when it when it does happen. I hope it doesn't happen, but I'm sure it will. Uh, and all we could do is, is kind of you know, put our heads down and, and hanker down, so to speak, and, and uh, do what we have to do to get to get through it. <laughs> I don't think we have a choice in the matter now, do we? <laughs> These laws are getting passed, and and uh, and people are being affected, and and you know, eventually, uh, I think you know, it's a matter of time before. Um, before foie gras is just out, outright banned. Um, but, you know, this is, it's, call it what you will. I mean, some people would say it's, it's irresponsible to do it in the first place. Others would say it's responsible to ban it, in the, uh, you know. Um, and all that being said, trans fats, I mean, the effect that it has on, on uh, this is all politics and it's a matter of, of, you know, standpoint, I guess, and all this, all this is uh, its a little beyond me. Just a simple cook opening a restaurant in the East Village. <laughs> I don't do really eat um, foods that are cooked in trans fats anyway. So it doesn't have an effect on me at all. But I understand how a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of people need to live by fast food restaurants. I mean, it's sometimes the only food that they can afford. So I would like to think in a perfect world that the, that the fast food restaurants would take the responsibility to serve the foods a little bit healthier without the government having, having to get involved. Um, unfortunately, it's just not the world we live in. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be the boy that cried trans fats. But I, I will say that, you know, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures, obviously. You know, I, I happen to, I happen to like it, and I really think about it, and it, it, I think it's a matter of evolution, and evolution takes time. And, and the way I think about, you know, eventually going into maybe a fine dining restaurant one day becomes the opportunity to kind of to to rein yourself in completely and take a fine dining approach outside of the casual restaurants and things like that, but a fine dining approach by reining yourself in and doing, you know, Dan Barber I think does it very well. Uh, even Michael Anthony does it very well, uh, and there's a lot of chefs that do, and I'm, of course I'm not going to go through the whole list, but those are the two that really come to mind, uh, that, you know, cook from the land. And the simplicity and the, the beauty of the product. Um, you know, to listen to Dan Barber speak about these things and his, his eloquence with it, it's, I mean, it's like, it's great. So he's the guy you got to ask, not me. <laughs> I do, absolutely. I mean, my, my grandfather lost his farm um, when my father was, was young. So there's always that, you know, it, it's in the back of my head. Um, and I still have family up in, up in the north of Maine that live, that are farmers. Um, it's, uh, you know, you do what you can within the confines of your business. And, you know, things being what they are and, and, you know, 
the economics of a restaurant being what it is, sometimes it's unfortunate that you can't, you know, the difference between an organic egg and a commercial egg. Now, you look at the way a commercial egg is raised, and you look at the way a, an organic egg is raised, you know, unfortunately, it costs more than three times uh, the, the organic egg costs more than three times the commercially raised egg. So the economics of a restaurant being what it is and, you know, occupancy costs of restaurants in New York City being what they are, there's only so much you could do sometimes without, you know, customers are still price sensitive and savvy for that matter, obviously, in New York City. So you do what you can. You, know, you want to be responsible. I never want to be irresponsible. Uh, and hopefully what that means is that it's something that I can grow into more and more over time. Back to the evolution of it. You know, <laughs> I, I think that uh, there's, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, uh, it, it seems to me that there's so much infrastructure uh, with, with commercial farming and commercial food products that it's easy, that's an easy cop out, right? But if we put ourselves on a path to kind of get to that point, you know, maybe it may take time, but eventually we'll get to the point where it is feasible. I guess it's all about restraint, isn't it? <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that last uh, three bowls of ice cream I shouldn't have had. I wasn't that fat as a kid, but, you know, I mean, there's, there's you know, I, I was also a big baseball player and all that kind of things. And, and uh, I think, you know, the, with the, you know, it's, it's, it's always a concern, right? You want your children to be active. You, you don't want them to sit in front of a TV and playing video games. I don't have kids, so it's easy for me to, to it's very easy for me as a non-parent to say this is what kids should do, I'm not going to play that game because, <laughs> because every parent in the world will tell me what an ass I am. <laughs>